When I look up at the stars, it's very hard not to think about big questions. But, you know, it can turn, I think, anyone into a philosopher. <laughs> and you're looking back in time, you're looking at something that's such an immense distance your brain can't even compute it. I'm Liv Bree and my educational background is in astrophysics and I've been absolutely fascinated with space ever since I was a little girl. I grew up in Kent and at university I studied physics with astrophysics using the language of mathematics to figure out mechanisms and processes behind the nature of reality itself. But now I'm a poker player, primarily. Liv Bree is the champion of EPT San Remo. The game of No Limit Hold'em is a game of incomplete information. There is more unique situations in a game of No Limit Hold'em than there are atoms in the universe. It's crazy complicated. It's just numbers on a mind-boggling scale. And that's what I love about the game. It's about being as methodical as you can, but also adding this, this sort of intuitive flair of, of how to read humans as well. Poker, and in particular Heads Up No Limit Texas Hold'em Poker, has become the leading benchmark in the AI community for solving imperfect information games. I am Dr. Thomas Sandholm. I'm a professor in the computer science department at Carnegie Mellon University. We developed the strategy for Libratus. Libratus is the first poker AI run on Bridges, which is the newest supercomputer at the Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center. Bridges is the largest system in the world that converges high-performance computing with artificial intelligence and big data. I'm Nick Nystrom. I'm Interim Director at the Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center. Pairing Labradas with the HPE Supercomputer Bridges, we really made history. I remember hearing about a team of some of the very best No Limit Heads Up players we're going to be playing against Labratus. And we all watched it fairly closely to see how a human mind is matched up against a supercomputer. A key aspect is that there are both multiple players and missing information. The algorithms automatically created the poker strategy for Libratus. It beat the humans in real time at the game they're best at. That was a groundbreaking moment here. To me, it was a demonstration of the power of the human mind because it takes a supercomputer to start beating some of the best minds in poker. And now the question is, where do we take it from there? What else do we apply it to? Like you can apply science to poker, you can apply science to fixing the world's problems. The algorithms in Labradas can be applied to situations where we're missing information. Precision medicine, global hunger, climate, environmental damage. The possibilities really are limited only by our imagination. What I'm most personally excited about is the application of supercomputing and AI to solve some of these really big questions that we have about the nature of the universe itself. In some ways we are tiny and insignificant, but at the same time we also have incredible potential with our minds and the things that we can do with them.